Hi everyone, Agnes here with an interview, a success story with Adeline in Perth, Australia. Welcome, Adeline. Hello. <laughs> Finally, I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited because this is such a great story. And I read your story out not long ago. For those that didn't get to hear it, I'll put the link down below in the description for them. But we're going to hear it today in your own words. So let's go right back to 2021. 2020. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, first of all, thank you so much, Agnes. Finally, I'm here. Literally, I found your channel back in 2016 or 2017. And then since then, I kept telling myself, like, one day I have to be interviewed by you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, after five years or six years right now. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. Um, so this is the story about how I manifested my soulmate that I believe as my soulmate right now. And I think I'm gonna make it as two parts, which is like the first one um, about the breakup with my uh, with my ex before and how I manifested my soulmate right now. And then okay. the second one is about the timelines because otherwise it's gonna be confused. You know, the timelines okay. from 20 something something to today. So yeah. Yep. Let's do that. Let's do the first one before. Um, so back in June, okay, back in 2021, I think like February 2021, I joined kickboxing and then I met I met some friends and after that I met a couple. One of them, he was from Indonesia and the other one was from Italy. So they were like my big sis and my big brother, you know, and I was single back then. Um, afterwards, um, let's say the girl as C, right? C. C was trying to arrange me with a man, which is the best friend of her partner, right? And afterwards, it kind of worked out. I was together with the best friend. We call it as J. Anyway, after a few months, he broke up with me, right? And I was like, what the hell is going on when everything was like great? And afterwards, I realized that they were kind of gaslighted me and manipulated me. So literally, he broke up with me. What he said was he broke up with me because I was so extrovert because I like to do kickboxing. I like to being out and do outdoor activities. He said that that was wrong. So that I didn't fit into his world, right? But a week after the breakup, so I got C, a job at, at the company that I worked, I worked before. And then I asked her on Friday night, are you free? Because I'm sad after the breakup and he said that. And then she said that she wasn't free because she had to do, she had to study for the exam. Um, and then the next day after I asked her, hey, are you free? Let's hang out, let's catch up because it's been a while that we haven't hang out. And then she said like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just finished work. But right now I'm on the way to your ex partner, uh, to your ex house. And I, I'm about to have a date with him. And I was like, what? So she was kind of slipped out. And then she, she said like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I mean, like my partner right now is away. So I need a company. That's why I'm coming to your ex, ex house. And I was like, right now at 7 p.m. And I was like, okay right i realized so they were kind of like you know playing behind me which is like all right this is really done i didn't want to attract him or her i cut off all of the relationship with her as well yeah so I, lost, I lost a boyfriend i lost friends that i thought my best friend as well and i lost my job i quit my job so it was like <laughs> 2021 was not the year for me at all no. And, and did you did you quit the job because she was working there? Yeah. Yes, because she literally she told everyone at work a story about me breaking up. 
And then I was like, no, you cannot mix up between the private and then. Yes, um, yes, terrible, terrible. And I just realized, I just realized that she was being so, how to say, how to say, she was being so touchy with my ex. Literally, they slap each other's butt and then they literally touch each other's face or mm. like hugging and kissing in front of me, but but not in front of um, her partner. So I was like, okay, so they had their own thing. Maybe yeah. to cover that, she arranged me with, with him. Yeah. Anyway, I got out of this situation. Um, yeah. During those times, I know, without a job, without... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> because all of my best friends they're all in Bali you know and yeah. then finally I took some time just to be sad be upset with all of this situation but I didn't take it for a long time until I realized that no I cannot be sad all the time so I wanted to feel good again about myself which I came back again to your meditation which is the um self-love meditation that was the first thing that I did self-love meditation because in my mind I didn't want to attract him back I didn't want to attract her back but I wanted to put myself back in and self-love meditation and after that I did Ho'oponopono mm -hmm. because I know that if I still have the um, resentment and anger towards them, that will not be good for me in the future. Yeah. I just yeah. want to let it out. I just wanted to try to mm. forgive everything. I know we cannot really forget, but at least we forgive them. Um, yes. And that's what I did. Hapunapuno and self-love that made mm -hmm. me feel good about myself. And I know that I was not the one that did something wrong. But that's yes. okay. That's okay. There are some good people and bad people, you know? Um, and then after that, it took me a few of months and I didn't really date anyone because I just wanted to focus myself. I just uh, wanted to get a job and get back, get back with myself. And I started scripting in... This is my scripting book. <laughs> no. So I started scripting in... October. So this is okay. my thing. Yeah. On 11th of October 2021. Yeah. So what I felt back then, I just wanted to write down everything that I felt because all of the relationship back in the past, it was like really hurt. And this time I feel like I think I need to manifest a, a man, not a boy anymore. Mm. But with this type of with this type of personality everything with a list literally i wrote down as types of men that i love and kinds of relationship that i love literally with all of the lists like this right no. yes it's very specific <laughs> yes, good. Very specific. literally i wrote down like clean and tidy easy going love being active you know yes. love being yes. active don't tell me that i'm too extravagant for you <laughs> <laughs> and I can't said, say, Adeline, I don't think I've ever heard someone breaking up with someone because they do kickboxing and they're active. I mean, those are I all such it's I mean, it sounds like it was an excuse because those are all positive <laughs> things. I know it was an excuse. I was like, oh my God, really that you broke up with me because I was being an extrovert? <laughs> yeah. I didn't ask you to play my kickboxing, you know? <laughs> yes. Anyway. Yeah. Um I don't need him anymore. So <laughs> I wanted to create a man for myself. Yes. But I didn't really expect too much from this. Literally, I just wrote down everything that I want. I said, like, family man, respectful, um, can cook as well, royal, yes. royal gentleman, everything. Um, and then the kind of relationship that I love is like where we spend quality time where is, there's always like a healthy communication where we discuss and then lots of date nights and lots of cuddles or something like that. Yeah, and, nice. And then like when I wrote down the scripting, 
I wrote down as in present tense as well. So for example, yeah. like, I am so grateful right now that I am in a like healthy relationship with my partner and this and that, and we live in this nice house, blah, 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 something like that. Yeah. And I close the book and leave it. Literally, I just left it. Um, and then in December, literally six months after the breakup, I decided to open, uh, what's the name? A date app, what's the name? Like the dating, dating app. app. Yeah, yeah dating apps. And I was like, am I ready for this? And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I'll just try. And I asked yeah. my best friend in Bali, maybe just try and be open, but you know, be careful. And that's what I did. Swipe right, swipe left. And I was like, F off. <laughs> I'm not really interested, but until there was a guy um, that matched with me, but we didn't really talk. So I was like, I'm not going to text him first. I just left it. And the next morning, I was thinking like to delay the app. Um, I was thinking like maybe I just wanted to meet someone through like, um, you know, like library or the coffee shop, you know. Just yeah. Like but before I delayed the uh, dating apps that person the one that matched with me uh, before he texted me literally okay last. and then um, somehow after a few of conversation we kind of I don't know I felt like there was a connection like a deep connection before that I've never felt and then okay. I enjoyed the conversation with him so we decided to meet up for dinner after the new year. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like in the next month after in January. And then, you know, after that, we agreed to have dinner and this and that. So on New Year's Eve 2021, I met up with my old friend um, before he flew to Wollongong for studying. Mm -hmm. And then I got two texts. The first one was from the guy on the dating apps he was asking me what I'm going to do for New Year's Eve and the other one was someone uh, was from someone in the past the one that I was dating a while back before but we never really had a closure and then he asked me what I'm going to do on New Year's Eve so I've got two men here wanted to ask me out <laughs> so I was like oh my god I just wanted to spend time, you know, in my room watching Netflix, but you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it makes me feel like, oh, I'm being wanted right now. Well, your self-love work after six months was paying off. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't really expect that. And afterwards, yeah. I, asked my, I asked my friend, what should I do? I remember him saying like this. Is this, like, this is like when you read a book whether you want to read the old one or you want to read a new book. If you want to read the old book, you already know the ending. But if you want to read the new one, you need to figure out the ending and that's going to be a new story for you. So I, wow. have decided, you know, so I have decided, so I have decided um, that I am going to go to spend the New Year's Eve with the man that I match on the Dating's app. Okay. You wanted to read the new book. <laughs> I know. I know. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be crazy and awkward, you know? Because yeah. everyone shared a kiss on New Year's Eve and we were like looking at each other. <laughs> yeah. But finally we shared a kiss before we before we left. Um, that was nice. And since that night, we have been together until today. That's wow. the Yes. So two years? One and a half years. Oh one yeah, because it would have been New yeah. Year's going into yeah. New Year's 2022. Yeah. yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. So um now we've been living together for around eight months. Yeah. But we've been together for one and a half years. Wow. Which is, yeah. which is good. And so you are from originally from Indonesia. From where is where yeah. is he from? Uh, from Australia. He's from oh, he's Newcastle. From Australian. Okay. Yeah. He was nice. an army before. So yeah. He was what? He was an army. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And there's a story about that. This is the, the second part after this. Okay. <laughs> so okay. yeah. 
So now we've been living together and the house, so we are still renting right now, but the house was also part of my manifest, uh, manifestation and part of the scripting as well. Nice. So literally everything here <laughs> yeah. was the result of the um, a lot, a lot of attraction, which I'm Beautiful. so grateful for that. Yeah. Yeah. So you wrote the list of the house like you wrote the list house. of the relationship. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Like literally, I said like the house that we're living right now is very homey and it's safe and it's close to the shop, close to the park and workplace. Um, the house is. I literally wrote down very specific. Like the house is no more than five hundred fifty a week because you know the yeah. rent is very crazy right now. $800 a week. Oh my God, $700 a week. I know it's crazy. So yeah. for finding around $500, three by two or four by two is very hard. Yeah. And that's what I wrote down and I manifested that. Literally we paid like less than, less than $550. Less than $550. I'm so well, glad. And it's well. close everywhere and the shop literally we just walk into the shop and we walk to the park yeah isn't it great when you can just walk up to the shop I'm my where I am in London too it's like yeah. I can just go up and buy a couple of bananas or some tea yeah. or and then you just walk back it takes like five ten minutes and it's like I love being able to not have to drive to get exactly. stuff it's really good isn't it it's really good I know yeah so yeah the first part is already done now yeah. we go to the second part, which is all of the timelines where okay. I believe that I manifested my soulmate. Um, yeah. So back in, oh, I'm so sorry, so That's sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, don't call me, don't call me. Oh my God, don't call me. <laughs> Yeah. I'm so sorry. I guess I was so. That's I was all right. So, I love it. Mate, is it on silent now? Just put it on. Yeah, silent. yeah, it's on silent right now. <laughs> I know. Sometimes you forget. All good. So the timeline you got that's laid out. Okay, one second. Where is the um the zoom here? Um, where is the zoom? Okay, okay, I'm back now. <laughs> oh my god. That's all right. That's all okay. Right. Okay, about the timelines. Back in Darwin, um, around 2012 or 2013, so um, my stepdad and my mom lived in Darwin before for work. Um, and I was still in school. So yeah. like uh, me and my brothers, we just only visited them for, you know, like school break or Christmas or something like that. And then, um, my partner right now, he was an army. Yeah. Back in, literally in that year. So usually his parents also visited, uh, visited him. And then he asked me, where, where did you live before with your, with your parents? And I said, like, this place, like close to the water. I forget the name, um, close to the water. And then it was, it was literally five minutes from the city. And then I said, like, that was literally next to no hotel no hotel hotel in Dallas. Yeah. and he was like oh my god that's where my parents stayed no way yeah, that's where my parents stayed that's what he said and I was like are you kidding me and he said, yeah <laughs> so we were like literally next to the building like literally less than five minutes away and yeah. then we went to the same shop the same bars but we never bumped into each other back in oh, 2012 or 2013 and yeah. then anyway, um, in 2017, my family and I finally officially moved to Australia as a permanent resident. So we moved to McMaster's Beach. Um, yeah. It's close to Gosford in New South Wales. Yeah. And in, also in 2017, he was already a civilian and he lived with his family in Newcastle. So between Newcastle and McMaster's, I think it's around one and a half hours, if I'm not wrong, maybe yep. two hours with the traffic. Um, and then back then, 
um, I was just like a normal person working as a waitress. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have any boyfriend, you know, <laughs> but yes. I was kind of desperate for a boyfriend. And then um, he told me back then he worked as a truck driver. So he, he drove the truck from Newcastle. And then he said, like, he usually drove the truck around once or a couple times a week to yeah. pick up. So I was like, what do you mean? So you drove truck from Newcastle to King Cumber. And he said, yes. And I was like, King Cumber literally is around five minutes away from my suburb. Are you kidding me? Yeah, wow. So that was li literally really, really close, but we've never bumped into each other at all. And my brothers actually worked around King Cumber as well back then. Yeah. And so last Christmas, in 2022 that was the first time for me meeting his parents as well mm -hmm. in a big family and then one day I asked him can we please drive to Gosford area or McMaster's because I want to show you where I lived before so we yeah. drove we drove there to McMaster's page and then after that he showed me where he worked before um, around King Cumber and all of us we got goosebumps because that was literally only in the corner his workplace where he dropped off some of the stuff from the truck, it was in the corner. And I was like, oh my God, I can literally just walk <laughs> from where I lived before to your workplace <laughs> back in 2017, but we just never met. Yeah. And the thing is, Australia is huge. Like we're not talking a, a little island. Like I know. You, you already had connections in Darwin at the top of Australia yeah. and then in where you're talking about McMaster's Beach, King Cumber, and I know those places really well because I've, yeah, yeah. I've got friends around there. So it's like it's right. It's a very, it's not a main tourist area. It's it's kind of out of Sydney and it's, you know, there's so many beaches along the coast of Australia, you know, but it's the fact that you have all these points that you could have met, that you had in common, that you were drawn to the same places. It's like it stitches all of this together so nicely, doesn't I it? I know. We just, I don't know. Yeah. We just can't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then on Christmas, we literally just shared a story to um, his pop and all of his family and all of them, they were like, no way, yeah. no way this could happen. And then the last one that was in Perth. So um, I only lived in McMaster's for one year after that. My family and I, we moved to Karapa because my stepdad got a job there. So we all had to follow him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, he said that in 2018, he moved to Perth with his ex right now. So that time was his partner. So he moved to Perth with his partner where yeah. he was happy at all with the relationship, but he had to move with her. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was in Karatha and then he was in Perth. Um, so it was like up north. And if you want to drive from Perth to Karatha, it's literally 15 hours away. Yeah. You can, take, you can, you can catch a plane. Yes. And like really far away. Mm. Um, I moved down to Perth in 2020 from Karatha because my stepdad got a heart attack. So we wanted to, yeah. So we wanted to, how to say, we want to have the best treatment for him. So all of us moved, uh, moved down to Perth in April, 2020, before the lockdown happened. Okay. Um, yes, literally it was like last minute before the lockdown. And anyway, we lived in Coburn area back then, um, around Coburn area. And then he lived in Yanchip with his partner ex-partner and then between Yangchip and Coburn it's literally around one or one and a half hours right it's okay. pretty far um and then he told me so when he's in Perth he already got uh, he already got a job at the mines but every Saturday he drove truck and he drove truck from Yangchip to Coburn area <laughs> Like 
you guys were following each other around. Yeah. I know. He, he was following me around. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What I know. A... I know. So, I don't know. He literally just drove around my area, but we just never met yet. Amazing. So, when you were going all the way back on the timeline, when you were in Darwin, how old were you? at that first point where you obviously were in a similar area to, to where his parents were. What, what age was your first point where you could have met? How old were you then? You were a child. I was like probably, so I'm not 27. So yes. that was 20, 2012, 2013. So I was still in the high school. I yeah. Was like, <laughs> yeah. Probably I was like 16, I yeah. think. Yeah, I was like a baby. I know. Yeah. And, uh, Isn't and, it interesting? It's like it's done uh, that three times, and um, three what times a wonderful in three three times in different states yeah. from Northern Territory to New South Wales, and yeah. now in Western Australia. Wow! Literally, wow. Australia wow. is big, you know. <laughs> it's very big, and it's very. Well, it's like a donut, as we know. I mean, we know that because Australia is a lot of the living happens around the outside because the middle is all the desert. So except for Uluru, which I absolutely love, the middle of the centre of the heartbeat of Australia, as they call it. But what a fascinating story. It's, it's I know. so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Finally, finally we met. <laughs> yeah, finally you met and the timing was right. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, and then in the middle of all that was COVID too. So, yeah, you know, it it's like you're trying to, okay, when did you, what, what was the year and the month when you met him from the dating app? Okay. What so, oh, from the dating app. So we met on dating app in December, 2021. And we met <laughs> few days after <laughs> because we decided to have uh, to spend the yeah. new year together yeah but so I there was no was there no lockdown at that time no not anymore Perth was pretty not, easy because you were in Perth yeah I was in Perth yeah I yeah, was in Perth Perth was, do it. Perth was doing and Western Australia yeah. was doing a much better job than the yeah. other side country because exactly. I was thinking hang on we were all at locked up in Australia on the other side but that's right Western Australia locked the doors to the rest of the country so that we all our infection over on that side of the country couldn't get you <laughs> exactly so yeah that's why that's why it was actually pretty good um it was it was yeah. they did a good job because you guys could still move around and be yeah. together whereas we yeah. couldn't so yeah it, that probably saved your relationship because you could actually meet. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> from, <laughs> I know. That's so I know. good. And we I broke up as well with our ex. Uh, with our ex was pretty much the same time as well. So he broke up with his ex in Ju July. No, sorry, July 2021. And my ex broke up with me in July 2021. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for yeah. us. Both of us already broke up and it took us six months to finally find each other. Yeah. Oh my God. From 2013. <laughs> How many years has it been? <laughs> you must have laughed when you worked out all those points of connection. You must have been like, what? Like, wow. We were like, what? What? Oh my God. Really? Have, yeah. you, been here? have you been there? And then That's we actually went to the same shop and we were like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's terrific. Okay, I want to ask you one question. Going back on the timeline, you lost your job, you lost your relationship. When did you get a job in the middle of all this? Um, in December 2020. So when you met him, the mm -hmm. month you met him was the month yeah. you met him. You must have done some good self-love work that everything started to happen all at once. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. maybe. Yes, I think yeah. so. I think yeah. so. But what job did you get in the end? At the bank. Yeah, yes. So you're, bank. Okay. So you work inside the bank still today? Uh, no, I'm not. I already quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I already quit. Okay. You got the bank job. You left the bank job. And where are you now? 
Um, currently, right now, I am trying to find a job. To be honest, okay. I left, I left my uh, I left my, my previous workplace, not the bank. I already quit the bank like last year, I think. But yes. after that, I got another job, and then I thought that that was that was the last job that I could have because I really enjoyed the time there. But yeah. because I have been experienced being bullied by my boss and yeah. my colleagues and yeah. them as well because I was the only one Asian there that's why mm, yeah. I had I decided that no I I don't want them to treat me like this anymore and yep. the agent helped me to get out of the um, the place so I yeah. quit from that place in December last year uh, December four months ago that's not that long yeah uh, okay. but it left me being unemployed for four months so I know I'm trying to be okay right now but yeah again, I just want to do how to say um literally for the past four months I've been doing your meditation which is like the self-love and like living in the end because I really want to manifest at least yeah. money or like having a better situation rather than right now and yeah I yeah, and then every morning or before I wake up, uh, before I sleep, I just want to thank the universe or God for everything in this and that. Even like I thank, I thank you for the um the breath. I thank you for the health for my partner and for uh, uh, for me as well and for my family. Thank you that they are still alive because yeah, all matters, you know. Besides, yeah, the beautiful house. That, that you yeah. got at a good price it's yeah. true you do the gratitude in the morning yeah. or at night it's such a beautiful simple practice isn't it yeah but sometimes it, we forget to do that we do we, we I always forget. do it I always do my gratitude in the shower and I've been doing that for yeah time. so I always go as soon as I'm in the shower and I feel the nice water on my back I instantly do the gratitude because and I do 20 things every morning in the shower and I have met it's like as soon as I'm in the shower my head just goes gratitude straight away mm. Mm. yeah it's good I'm gonna I'll send you some stuff about dream job meaningful work to help you yes yes please and I was looking that <laughs> I was looking that too literally before before we do this interview I was doing your I was doing your meditation living in the end with self love <laughs> Oh, Who knows that I'm going to manifest the Powerball jackpot? And yes. <laughs> you might not even need to get a job, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully, we'll see. Oh, what, it's a beautiful uh, story. Honestly, I just, you had so many twists and turns, but you I know. just, I'm <laughs> going to work. I think the biggest thing is I'm just going to work on me. Yes. And you were quite happy to watch Netflix on New Year's Eve and go, that's yeah. fine, you know? Fine. Like, yeah. I mean, Netflix is definitely an addiction of mine, so I understand. If there's so many good programs on there, they do such a great job on that platform. Yeah. Something yeah. for everyone. So, you know, it's a, it's like a um, party for one. <laughs> it's just for you. Exactly. Uh, so like when we let go the neediness and desperation as well that's the most yeah. important thing I know it's it's hard it's a hard process for me too before yes but until one day after like no like I'm gonna let this go I cannot yeah. be desperate for the rest of my life looking for a partner otherwise that's like it. exactly because we cannot expect the love and happiness we cannot depend that on someone if we don't have it for from ourselves so we need yeah. to have the love first from ourselves then that's we can it. Give that. yeah yeah that's, back it. Then, that's yeah. a big, le big lesson isn't it to finally go i can't base my happiness on even anything out there money a job yeah. uh, uh, you know all those things can help to to enjoy but the happiness is still an internal state irregardless of external conditions. So if you can generate that and get better at that through the practice, I think, of gratitude, that's a great place to start. You go, okay, if I can do that, then I'm moving the needle just another little bit, another little bit, another little bit. And eventually you end up where 
it's like everything happens at once because your energy is so good and you're happy and you you've kind of forgotten about being unhappy you've forgotten about it <laughs> exactly you know I know. So yeah, everything, even here with the interview, I have manifested you. <laughs> it took me years and years, you know, it's like, it's like a medicine process. Everything takes time, but it yeah. Does. It and, does. Yeah. And also I, I, I was asking myself and I also had the answer for myself. Why we didn't meet years before yes and why we meet just now and then yes I was thinking like maybe if we met years like 10 years ago back in darwin i was still in high school and he was still in the army both yeah. of us were not ready yet mm. and then in new uh, like new south wales i yes. really just moved to australia and i wasn't prepared at all i didn't have a job i was still work and then when i got a job i was still a waitress and then he was in a relationship before so yeah both of us were not ready yeah that's why i'm thinking like maybe the universe prepared the best time for both of us when both of us were ready with ourselves yes we're ready yes. with having a serious relationship and everything yes. I and like i think I yeah. think when you've had relationships too that where you've broken up, yeah, you really go through something that you it's like you get so humbled and so you go into that dark place of being wounded and hurt mm -hmm. that when you end up in a good relationship, you have more gratitude because you've been through that experience. Yeah, I think so you too. appreciate it more because yeah. you've had your heart broken or you've experienced yeah. the the suffering of a breakup. So yeah. I think you really naturally have more gratitude, which then that makes the relationship better because gratitude is good fertilizer for any relationship, you see. Yeah. So yeah. so have you got any say if you could say three things to people that really really helped you on your journey to end up in this amazing relationship what would you say were the top three things top two things first um take time for yourself if you feel yeah. sad upset do mm. not deny it because mm. i i've been there before i was denying all of the negative feelings but it was a boomerang for me that's why yeah. i decided to take time feel yeah. it how angry or upset you are Mm -hmm. And second will be you need to tell yourself that put yourself back in together because no one will do it for you, right? Yeah. Yes. Why right? self-love? And yeah. then the third one will be like, I know this is hard to say, but this is hard to do as well, but probably try to forgive yourself first. Forgive yes. for what happened in the past or whoever that hurt you even though that that was not your mistake but i believe that if we forgive ourselves first then we will be able to forgive others mm. who hurt ourselves yeah. beautiful so, nice nice hard yeah. to do but <laughs> look at me now <laughs> and yeah. you've had a lot of stuff to forgive and we didn't touch upon the background of the the family stuff but you have yeah. had to really call up forgiveness in a big way with what has happened in other areas of your life. And that's been a challenge in itself. But, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh my God. I already, I, I'm so sorry. I already um, put my phone on the, um, on the airplane mode. I'm not so sure how did she call me. <laughs> oh, it's a bit. Problem. It's a bit we're, fi we're finished anyway, Adeline. I know. It's not um, do you Sorry, want to say bye to everyone? I'll say bye yeah. to everybody, and then you and I can say goodbye in private. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Is that like goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. That's, it. That's enough. <laughs> I, 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 I hope you. Yeah, I hope you
you enjoyed my story. Goodbye. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> you guys enjoyed my story. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm still nervous right now. My hands are shaking. I just cannot believe I'm here, you know. <laughs> it's going to be so, easier. <laughs> You've done so well. It's fantastic. Honestly, it was so good. I learned some new things about your story hearing you talk about it. It was beautiful. Oh. So thank you for sharing all of that with everybody because, you know, when people are still stuck, this is their lifeline. This is the hope. So, you know, it doesn't matter what age, what culture, what sexual preference, what country you live in everybody suffers with this topic so we need yeah. to hear people that have moved through and have got to a wonderful place so thanks everyone for sharing uh, your time with us and yeah. hope if you made it to the end I will put Adeline's success story that she wrote to me down in the description below and because this is a brand new relationship I will put links down below to other brand new success stories for you mm -hmm. so lots of love everyone and see you in the next youtube you in the next success story hopefully That's the it. money story <laughs> money money and work next money yes i will see you in the next money story <laughs> That's it.